Oranges and a pineapple under the sea. Splash, splash, square, pants. and yellow and porous is he. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude. I am here with J53518 over here, and yep. we're here to review Arg, requested by Tapple. Plot is that you know one day after SpongeBob gets done with work, Pam and Patrick play the mystery of the Flying Dutchman, a board game actually based on the Flying Dutchman. So when Mr. Krabs, who's a pirate aficionado, starts to get addicted to the game. He kind of takes it way too far. So, what happens? Well, Spongebob and Patrick get into little wacky shenanigans as they actually become pirates, and Captain the Crab becomes a pirate crab himself. So now they're off on the funny fantasy adventure to look for the actual Dutchman's booty. That's Mitch's treasure. Will they ever find the bloody treasure? Or is it all a sick pup dog's game to Davy Jones' locker? <laughs> it's well made. Just like some of the other SpongeBob episodes, it's simple, but it takes its simple idea and tries to make it into something fun. And I felt like Arg does do a good job with that. I thought there were funny moments to it. I like the whole first few minutes with SpongeBob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs playing the board game. I actually really loved how the episode started off with that. It was just so much fun. And it was fun to see Mr. Krabs go to SpongeBob's house, and then SpongeBob gets to the point where he's tired. <laughs> and then, you know, it's really interesting. The ironic thing about this episode is how the board game scenes and the final couple of minutes with the Flying Dutchman is better than the actual treasure hunt. Now, as much as I liked Arg, I do have a major flaw with this episode. The middle where they actually start the treasure hunt is so boring. How the fuck is a treasure hunt just so boring and uninteresting? It was supposed to be a lot of fun. And once they start off on the treasure hunt, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. And then it just becomes not very interesting. The episode gets interesting, then it's not interesting, and then it becomes enjoyable to watch once again when SpongeBob and Patrick go into the tent and they see the map. Once that scene pops in, that's when I'm enjoying the episode. And that's not to say the middle is bad. I guess I kind of enjoyed the middle somewhat, but it's nowhere near as interesting as the board game scenes in the first five minutes and the whole finding the treasure and seeing the fine Dutchman in the final few minutes. But overall, I liked our, the middle one, like I said, I was bored with it, and Mr. Krabs... I did think he was a huge jerk. I hated how selfish he was, not wanting to share the treasure hunt. And I'm glad the Flying Dutchman gave him the comeuppance basically at the end because Mr. Krabs definitely deserved it, especially for how he treated his pirate crew overall. So, yes, ARG is a good episode. Even with the middle not being that interesting, I can't really downgrade the episode just because most of the episode, when I'm counting all of the running time, is actually still good. So most of the time, it was really fun. So it is a good, solid 7 out of 10. I liked Arr. And I say the seas of a dead wench's cut, going down to the winds of Davy Jones' old bottom himself. Tis an unquizzing request you find out. Okay, I'm going to shut up. I'm sorry. I love doing the pirate voice. I agree with what you say, but I'm going to actually disagree, my friend. Okay. I love this episode. I think the most boring parts are just as good as the enjoyment. I mean, think about it. Think of the whole stories of Errol Flynn. Did you ever watch Treasure Island? Stories about treasure? This brings that funny, it's a parody of the pirate movies of the past, like Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's SpongeBob. It's funny. Yeah, having them become pirates and Captain and Captain Krabs becoming a, a, a selfish dick. I mean, that's how captains were. They were selfish bastards. So having that persona, him with the whole trench coat and the poly parrot, was actually part of the personification. I liked that. And yes, the poking of the map was kind of funny. He could touch, I think they're the same. We could touch the map. Yes. Yes, he went. Dutchman uh, uh. does give Krabs a little mini comeuppance. It's a tiny one. <laughs> and I just love the whole pirate music. Just like everything that you always thought as a kid, as a pirate, everything of your childhood of being a pirate fan is in this episode. I loved it. Everything was great. 
I don't have any flaws with them. I feel like a kid again watching, you know, playing pirates. I mean, if if you wanted to see SpongeBob, I mean, imagine have you had Treasure Island mixed with SpongeBob. I think this would be a funny version. So I give a five out of five to Arg. It's came to me, mateys. Arg. Shiver me timbers and don't piss me off because you're gonna walk the plank. Arg. Now here to review Rock Bottom, requested by Tapple. The story of Rock Bottom is that SpongeBob and Patrick get back from that glove world, or they get back from a trip. Apparently on their way home, somehow they get stranded. Well, for some reason, SpongeBob gets stranded after leaving Patrick off the bus. So where does the leader, little spongy friend? To the evil parts of the crusty crab. No, I'm just kidding. He goes to Rock Bottom. And you know what they mean by Rock Bottom? I think they're serious. They take him down to hell. But they're trying to get back to Bikini Bottom. But the problem is, the buses take so damn long time. So he uses time to get another sea bus back up to Bikini Bottom to meet Patrick. I did really have a lot of fun with Rock Bottom, just like with Arg and other episodes. It's one of those ideas that's simple, but they go creative with it. I really loved how SpongeBob is stuck in Rock Bottom all along. Patrick didn't want to abandon Spongebob, but the bus basically forced Patrick to leave without Spongebob. By the way, the bus is a douchebag. Like, who, whoever, who would have ever thought a bus could be such a douchebag? And then there are a lot of gimmicks that Spongebob mm -hmm. has to try to do because he's starting to catch on slowly that the bus doesn't want him to get on for some reason. Well, yeah, actually, it's because they annoyed the bus driver in the beginning with the balloon, that could be why. But I mean, it's all like, come on, bus driver, really? But, yeah, it was really cool to see how he's trying to get back into the bus so he could get back on the rock bottom. So it is pretty interesting to see. And the storyline, it's basic, but it's very well told. It flows very well with what SpongeBob is going through and rock bottom. And, yes, not much happens to rock bottom, but it's the littlest things that happen in the episode that make it interesting and can be sometimes very funny. I like the whole <laughs> language. <laughs> I actually thought that was creative of the creators to actually come up with something like that. It's one of the best parts of the episode. Uh, my only criticism with the episode is just how... It does feel a little repetitive with the whole SpongeBob trying to get back into the bus and all that. Especially that one scene with SpongeBob trying to grab his uh, bar, and then as he's slowly reaching for the bar, oh. the bus just c comes in and out, in and out. It's all like that one scene. It's all like I could enjoy the other scenes, but that one scene did get repetitive for me, and it was really annoying for me. And then as it does progress, it's just all like, okay, this is starting to get old now. Let's just let the sponge go home. But it was still a lot of fun to watch overall. And I liked what that fish did for SpongeBob at the end. It was just very sweet. And, you know, it just had a nice conclusion for SpongeBob. So I'm going to give Rock Bottom a 9 <laughs> out of <laughs> 10. <laughs> now to you, J5. Thank you. Tiger, dude, my thoughts on this episode. I fucking loved it. I agree with everything you said. I do agree that at points it did get repetitive, but not much as to you in a degree. I still enjoyed the, the whole Kelton to get crunch, almost being like the gas pedal at the bus. That's funny. That's creative humor. Plus the whole... The bus comes... Back at six. Plus, it was kind of cute seeing SpongeBob give him tie a balloon. It was kind of cute. 
But my favorite part is the ending. Oh, Patrick, you're so dumb. <laughs> don't worry, SpongeBob. Oh, yeah. Uh, when he's all like, don't worry, SpongeBob, I'm coming back for you. It's all like, did you not look through the window, man? Oh, damn it, Patrick. You're an idiot. And that's where you would have cartoons, Grey's Idiots. Anyway, I love the episode. It had a, like, I agree with you. It was a small idea, but they went for it, and they achieved great. I give, oh, jeez, I'm doing it again. Rock, bottom A, five out of five, Spud Stars. Please check out j 53518 one channel. I will leave a link in the description below. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I just had to do that one last time. Ah, fuck. As always, it's J5. Thank you, Tony. It's J5 signing up. Have a great night, and see you on the other side. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!